In this first chapter, we'll start by creating a new Unity project from scratch. Then, we'll change some settings in Unity to optimize for HoloLens development. Then, we'll import our art assets and set up our scene. Last, we'll deploy, and you'll see the Astroman as he appears in the HoloLens. Let's start by opening Unity. Double-click the icon on your desktop. Select New to create a new project. Name the project Model Explorer. Change the location to where you extracted the project files. For me, it's Desktop and then 210 Gaze. Click Select Folder. Make sure 3D is selected, and then select Create Project. Now let's change some settings to modify Unity to optimize for HoloLens development. Select the Edit button at the top of the screen. Go down to Project Settings, and then click on Player. In the Inspector panel on the right, select the Windows Store icon. Expand the Power and Performance tab if it's not already selected. Check the 16-bit Depth Buffers checkbox. Change the Job Scheduler Profiler to Low Power. Disable Physics 2D. Disable Accelerometer Input. And use Mobile Shadows. If you get a dialog box, click Apply. Let's change a few more settings. Go back to the Edit menu at the top of the screen. Go down to Project Settings. And then select the Quality menu item. Over in the Inspector panel, you'll see a series of checkboxes. Find the Windows Store column, and at the bottom, you'll see a black arrow. Click on that arrow and change from Fantastic to Fastest. You can change it for the other two arrows as well. Now let's import our art assets. Right-click the Assets folder in the Project panel. Go to Import Package, and then Custom Package. Go to where you extracted the project files, and find the Model Explorer Unity package. Select it, and then click the Open button. Once the dialog box opens to import the Unity package, select the Import button. It'll take a minute to import all these art assets, so hang tight. Now we have our art assets. Let's set up our scene. In the hierarchy, select the main camera. Right-click and select Delete. Find the Hollow Toolkit folder. Double-click on the Camera folder and find the new main camera. Drag and drop this into your hierarchy view. Now select the directional light. Right-click and select Delete. Go back down to the Project panel and find the Holograms folder. We're going to add a few art assets to our scene. Start by selecting the Astroman asset and drag and drop that into the hierarchy. Do the same thing with the lights, the space background, and the space audio source. Click the Play Mode button to preview the scene in Unity. Click Play Mode again to go back to our scene view. Now let's add a fit box. In the Holograms folder, you'll find the fit box asset. Drag and drop that into the hierarchy. With the fit box selected, drag and drop the Astroman from the hierarchy 
onto the fit box in the inspector panel and put it on the hologram collection parameter. All right, we've done a lot of work here. Let's save. So go to File, Save Scene As. Select New Folder and name this folder Scenes. Name the file Model Explorer and then click the Save button. All right, we're ready to deploy. Go to the File menu and click on Build Settings. First, click the Add Open Scenes button. Under the Platform list, select Windows Store, and then make sure to select the Switch Platform button. To the right, select the SDK dropdown and change it to Universal 10. Make the UWP build type D3D, and select Unity c -sharp Projects. When all that's done, click the Build button. Create a new folder here and call it App. Then click Select Folder. Unity will now build a Visual Studio project file. When Unity is done compiling, a File Explorer window will appear. Double click the App folder and you'll see a Model Explorer Visual Studio solution. Double click to open that up in Visual Studio. Before we can deploy, we need to change a few build settings. At the top, find the Debug option and change it to release. Then switch from ARM to x86. Next, select the arrow next to Local Machine, and in the drop-down, select Remote Machine. Then head to the Debug menu and click Start Without Debugging. In this chapter, you created your first Unity project for HoloLens from scratch and you deployed your holograms to the emulator. In the next chapter, you'll learn how to make your cursor and your holograms aware of when a user is looking at them.